thing. I've been waiting since I've been waiting to say this publicly, and I would. This is what really happened. I will tell you if you if you hear this and you give me ninety seconds, your viewers will understand what's happened in the last five years in America. I've been waiting to say this on mainstream TV, and they will not have me back because once they understood what this was about. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. I'm going to be lucky if I don't get shot or end up in prison before this is over. But and I just committed 15 year felony. No, I'll be right by telling you that story. I think that's a 15 year felony. On the other hand, they involved me in a coup. So fuck them. I know what's in the Durham report. and I'm going to say it here. I bribed Hillary Clinton $18 million. I facilitated a bribe for Hillary Clinton on January 14th, 2016, right here in this town. Hillary Clinton, on behalf of the FBI, I they came to me around December 1st, 2015. They told me Hillary Clinton had accepted a bribe from Turkey for $20 million. They told me that, there, that I would be working for a group in New York, FBI agents, who had authorization to set Hillary Clinton up in a sting. They asked me to facilitate a bribe for her, an $18 million bribe from another government. The bag man from that other government was I was to befriend, and I was to get that person 10 minutes alone in a room with Hillary Clinton. I did. On January 14th, 2016, Hillary Clinton was in this town, and she met in a way that was kept off her schedule. In just over 24 hours now, we should know who is joining Donald Trump on the Republican ticket. The news of a vice presidential announcement comes as Hillary Clinton is here in our area today. Suzanne Kennedy is live in Northwest D.C. with more on the day ahead. Suzanne. On July 14, I believe it was, 2016, Hillary Clinton was walked into a room in Washington, D.C., where that bag man was knowingly, knowing that she was going to be offered a large amount of money, to, and, his, and she spent 10 minutes alone with him. She accepted an $18 million bribe. But General Barr knows this. This is the, the Durham. They know this was what is behind it all. So they, uh, they told me to do that, and I made it happen six weeks later. Hillary did come in and take that bribe. Then I met with the agents two days later, and they told me, Patrick, we need you to forget this ever happened. We and mean it. You got to scrub this whole thing from your memory. And I said, gosh, fellas, why is that? I, and they said, Patrick, what's going on is this. Hillary, uh, not, she's going to be president. It's too late to stop that now. What we've realized is up above, it's been realized that uh, first thing she's going to do the day she's not sworn in as president is she's going to send her people over to the FBI, and they're going to ask who was part of investigating Hillary Clinton. And all of us who were part of it, Patrick, we're all going to be destroyed. That includes you. So mm -hmm. we mean that this has been scrubbed from the highest level, and you have to erase every second of this from your memory. And I said, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah, so you're with me up to the story so far? Yeah, before? I got you so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. A couple of weeks later, they got in touch. Well, a couple of weeks later, we were meeting, and um, I forget who got in touch, but I, I think I got in touch and just let them know that wasn't really sitting right with me. And you know, we had a a year almost before the election, and mm -hmm. I just didn't understand. It was a political decision, right? Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, I just yeah. asked. And then they finally said, and this time there were three federal agents in the room. And this is what they finally let their hair down and explain what was going on. And they said, we, this is what's going on, Patrick. And this is word for word. President Obama has his people across the federal bureaucracy at this point, but especially the Department of Justice. And Hillary is going to be president. And nothing's going to stop that. But while she's president, think of there as being a Bunsen burner. Here's my mm -hmm. problem. Bunsen burner, like your high school chemistry Bunsen burner. I think there's being a Bunsen burner within the Department of Justice, and on that Bunsen burner is going to be sitting the information about the two bribes that you that you know about, and the hand on that Bunsen burner on the dial and the knob is going to be the hand of one of Barack Obama's people. If Hillary's a good girl and she defends Obamacare, that flame is going to stay low. If she's a bad girl. Uh, then that flame's going to get turned up high. And that way, Barack Obama is going to manage Hillary Clinton for eight years. Then she's going to step down and Michelle's going to run. And Patrick, that's the plan. 
So it's essentially a shadow government by Obama, a shadow presidency. And Patrick, that's the plan. That came out of the lips of a federal agent. It was confirmed to me this spring, they, the Durham investigation has located, has that plan was called the uh, Operation Snow Globe. That was Brennan Obama's name for it. They, Snow Globe, they were trying to get Hillary to step into a snow globe. I'm looking for a prop, a snow globe that any time they wanted, they could then pick up and shake for eight years. Uh, my bribe was the bait to get her to step into the snow globe. That's all from it. This isn't a theory. I'm the guy in the room. I'm acknowledging I took part in all this, and I, I was, thought I was helping them conduct federal law enforcement. It turned out that I was having them, helping them set up Hillary Clinton for, for a, a deep state to control her. And that's, and I said, so that's why, and I came up public a year ago with some pictures that showed me with this Russian redhead, Maria Butina, lovely woman, that said, and so I'm saying this entire thing, this last five years, has been a coup. It was a from Obama against Hillary that when Trump won in a fluke, it got morphed into the Russian collusion delusion. And I say that as the guy that had romancing Maria and bribing Hillary Clinton. So I'm about as involved in this as you can get, and I promise you that's exactly what happened. And what we're seeing here is the last act play out. Well, let's just leave the story there. If anybody wants to read the full story, go to the the uh, deep website Deep Capture and read a 20-page story that begins with the Hillary Clinton bribery and blackmail sting or something. And there's other there's other things in the title, but you you got to. It's a fun evening of reading, huh? Yes, interesting.